you can't ask for a better day than today here in Nuremberg, Germany. It's a beautiful fall day. It's sunny and the locals are out because on Sundays here in Germany, everything pretty much shuts down. What are people doing? They're hanging out in restaurants, they're hanging out in beer gardens, and they're literally enjoying the city. Our starting point today is right here at the high end of the city, at the castle. The reason we're here is because we want to give you a great look back on Nuremberg and show you a starting point to explore this wonderful little city. The castle is known to locals as Kaiserberg and was the residence of some holy Roman emperors during the Middle Ages. It's easy to understand why. From the castle, anyone can see out onto the half-timbered houses of Bavaria's second largest city. Today, Nuremberg is famous for world-renowned museums, historic churches, and a cheerful culture of events, toys, as well as foods. So from Kaiserberg, I'll start down into authentic modern Nuremberg for the full experience. All right, if you're in Nuremberg, you have to do this. You have to try authentic Nuremberg sausages. And we're gonna try three different kinds. But you also have to complement that with some beer. I'm gonna to talk to that in just a second, but first I wanna try this guy right here. I wanna mix it in with a little German potato salad. I call that a combo. Mm. Very nice. Mm -mm -mm. A little chili out, October. October in Germany, gotta have some beer. What kind of beer? I chose Heffenweizen, which is the wheat beer. And you can get it light, which unlike the US, light means lower calories. Here mean light means less alcohol. I'm going for the full blown version. All right. Nuremberg hosts a one-of-a-kind Christmas market every year, as well as two open-air concerts in the summer that draw crowds of over 100,000 people. 100,000 people! They also do the world's largest toy fair every February. But that's just the beginning. When you get to the bottom, you come to the Market Square. For a brief period of time, it was renamed Adolf Hitler's Square. We know how that ended up. A long time before that, that fountain there, was built about 700 years ago along with this Catholic church. What you'll find today in modern day Nuremberg is this beautiful square that on many days is filled with stalls with folks selling different types of food and wares. Even when there aren't stalls like on a Sunday, because we're here visiting on a Sunday, when most of the stores are closed, you'll find the square here, the market square, surrounded by restaurants as well as bars. This unmistakable fountain is called the Beautiful Fountain. That's how we say it in English, at least. The name fits. The centuries-old fountain is a perfect complement to the equally beautiful Church of Our Lady that sits across the square. You never know what you're going to find in the Market Square today, because it's actually Halloween. We've got dogs, and there's a Halloween dog show. From Nuremberg, me and my newfound friend, best friend. <laughs>